Hello from Tucson, Arizona. This is Laura at the Yarn Closet. So here's the deal. If you can't get your own haircut, what about your animals? Sadie is my retired guide dog and I am legally blind, but I have a clippers. They are not gonna look lovely, but if you can get them to hold still and not use the guide, it will feel better for them. And you just do it bit by bit. I've done one leg at a time over the last four days. And you just keep going. So here you go. But if you're a yarn person and you have a poodle, it's like your best dream ever. It's like shaving the wool off of a sheep. Now Sadie is very well trained, so she sits very well for it. You have to move slowly and sometimes you have to kind of make tension in the skin. And you try to have a light hand. And obviously there are certain areas that they're going to be more sensitive to, so use a scissors like feet and um, faces maybe. And it's got to be flat blade to flat skin, otherwise you are going to nick them and they'll get cut. And like Sadie, um, this blade is already getting a little bit on the warm side, so I'm going to do a few more passes and then we'll take a break. Because that's the other thing, is you don't want to burn them. And if they do have crazy matted fur and you don't want to have to brush them out ahead of time, the easiest thing to do is to just use the smallest blade you feel comfortable with and go as close to their skin kind of underneath those mats as possible. This is a special um, ceramic blade that I ordered. It's not the one that came with the clipper and it's 6.3 millimeters. So it leaves a certain amount of Hair, I have less chance of actually burning her skin from a hot blade. And no, they're not going to like you afterwards. And if they're used to pretty, pretty stuff, they might be sensitive and hide for a while. I've had dogs that did that. Duh. And it's exhausting, and you get hair everywhere. And if you're not washing them ahead of time, sometimes you get this kind of dry dandruffiness. And then just wash them after. And I am not a professional. I'm a pet owner person that likes them to at least be comfortable because we are getting into the 100 degree, 105, 106 later this week. You know, she's black. She needs to have shorter hair. So. That's my message for everybody. Try slowly, kindly, and if you have to do it over the course of a few days, so be it. Because nobody's going anywhere.